Hey guys, this is Kendall with BlackOvis.com, and today we're talking Sitka packs. This year for 2015, Sitka has redesigned the uh, ever popular Flash 20. I'm going to dive into the differences between last year's, which I've hunted with, and this year's, which we've, we've had a good look at, and I'm really excited to use and show you where we're saving some ounces, what Sitka has done to improve it, and what are the, the things that you're going to expect from performance wise on this pack. So let's dive right into the details. Um, Sika claims that this pack is 4.5 pounds, but we weighed it here, and last year's pack, which I've got right here, weighs in at uh, 4 pounds, 10 ounces, and this year's pack, we weighed in at 3 pounds, 12 ounces, so almost a full, pound di full pound difference. I don't believe that Sika has compromised anything, and in fact, there's actually some really cool developments that, uh, that they made. So when you're looking right at the packs, you can physically see that there's some differences in the, in the two packs. And immediately, right off the front, is the bow, the bow carry system. In last year's pack, the bow carrier, it was a little different. I don't even know what this is called, but it was, you'd unsecure it here, and you can put the cam in. Now I found this to be, it was a little shallow, it was a little awkward. It's probably one of those things that's really cool in design. But in functionality, I personally didn't find it to be all that awesome. Uh, so I'm really excited about the fact that they've shaved some weight and they've changed it up a little bit. On the new system here, they've got a loop, and that's actually attached, just like last year's, to this cord up here. So you pull this out, wrap it around your cam, and then you can cinch this down around the cam and then take this, this strap up here and tighten that down so it's secure. The other thing that you're going to change you're going to do is you're going to employ these straps to wrap around your bow. Now you can move those straps by simply just pushing on the front of it. It opens up, slide that out, slide it into the new one, and then put that metal ring back over top. Super easy to adjust those up and down. So same, same system as last year, but you can see last year they had this rubber piece here. They've eliminated that bolt from weight, and it was a little more, it looks a little more bomber, but it was also a little more difficult to, to change the loops. And then the other thing you can see here on the front is they've eliminated this zipper pocket right here. Because after all, if you're carrying your bow, you're seldom going to use this pocket when you've got other opportunities to slip items in here, like a jacket, or use the, up, the upper pocket. So some of the differences here on the front are very, very visible, and I think improved, as well as you're shaving some weight. And then looking at the side of the pack, they've gotten rid of this, uh, this water bottle holder. I did use this a few times and I found that, uh, that it was helpful, but when I was also trying to secure something to the side of the pack, um, it did get in the way of this, this side compression strap. Another thing that I, uh, that I saw immediately off the bat was the change uh, on the top of the pack. So right on the top of the pack, um, on the old pack, let's open this up, you can see the distance here is very small and the distance from the top of the pack to the zipper is, is much bigger. And this is because what I found is, is the hydration tube can come out either side on, on both these packs, last year's and this year's. But on last year's, I found that the hydration tube would come out and it would kink um, because as the tube came out and twisted down the shoulder strap, uh, I would sometimes get a kink in, in that. So what they've done to address that is they've opened it up, made the opening a lot more, and, and, and moved the zippers forward. One of the things, I'm really excited about that change actually, but one of the things it has done is it's changed the size of this front pocket. Now this accessory pocket on the last year's model was pretty deep. You can see I can get my hand fairly deep in it and there's a divider inside. On this year's model, it, uh, <coughs> it's a little more shallow in the front and then the main pouch carries your, uh, your rain fly, which I usually pull out because um, not anticipating a lot of rain where I hunt. But uh, it's a, a little more, sh less shallow, uh, or excuse me, a little shallower than, than last year's. So a little bit of difference there. Another one of the main differences you're gonna see in the new Flash 20 is in the main, um, in the front pouch. So, sorry about that. The front pouch here is wide open. You can see that on last year's pack or the previous model, they did something that I think that was, was a good idea and good concept, but you can see there's some black fleece right here. And that was kind of ideal for a spotting scope pocket. The one thing I felt is it was, there was a lot of extra weight. It wasn't really needed. So they've gotten rid of the black fleece pocket. They've gotten rid of the divider. And simply, you can organize your, your equipment as, as, every, as you'd like to. Another key, key uh, change that they've made is on the back side of the pack. 
is the lumbar. On the new pack, they've, uh, they've increased the size of the lumbar pad, so it's going to give you a little bit more support. Now, last year I killed an elk uh, here in Utah, and this is what I was hunting with. Now, this is not a pack that you're going to be hauling an entire elk out. That, I mean, let's get that clear. This is a really good day pack. You could probably overnight with a very small bivy and, uh, and do just fine. I use this for day hunting. So after I quartered up the elk, I was hunting solo. I was able to haul out uh, tenderloins, back straps, and all the neck meat in the Flash 20. Now it was a bit of a load, and, and no doubt it was not the most comfortable thing. Took it down, got my bigger pack, uh, my mystery ranch came back, and I was able to haul that out with a buddy. So I think increasing this lumbar pad is gonna help give you a little more support when you're carrying a much bigger load. Another change that, that they've made to the pack is the reinforcement, excuse me, the reinforcement on the bottom. You can see they've got a, a, a heavy denier uh, here on the very bottom, but they've extended that denier out onto the, uh, the hip belt because you're always putting your pack on the ground for sure. So that's another, another neat improvement there. And then one weight savings that they've done here on the hip belt, and I've got this upside down, is they've eliminated, on the old hip belt, you had the ability to pull this out. Now, I actually never did this, and I don't know if, if many of you guys did, but I never used this, this extra pocket that was inside. So they've eliminated this, this extra piece here, this extra webbing. Now, as you can see on this other pocket here, I've got my, um, my bowl holder. So I've got the Sitka bowl hol holder right there, which is very nice. So they've eliminated the use of that in that particular spot. Maybe a little bit of a bummer for me or any of you guys that, that do the same thing or you're putting a sidearm in that location, but they've gotten rid of a little bit of weight there. The last thing I wanna show you in the differences between last year's pack and this year's new redesigned pack is they've, uh, they've changed the, the shoulder strap a little bit. So this, the new, the new redesign was a little bit wider right through the kind of the top of the shoulder and it's going to give you a little bit more support. It's going to distribute the weight. And, and in, in my case, you know, hauling out that elk, uh, it's not going to dig in as much. You're going to have a little bit broader uh, platform for that weight to be distributed across your shoulder and across your chest. And then one other thing that they've done here is there was a little bit of extra fabric right here along the uh, shoulder strap that they've gone ahead and removed. I did use that again for the hydration tube to come down and slip into. And it was able to slip in right here and pop out. But again, as I pulled that over to take a drink, I would often get that kinked. Um, and then the one thing I did notice, and maybe it's because this one is, has been used for two, three seasons, and for two seasons, and then this one hasn't, is the chest strap slider is a little more difficult on last year's, and this year's seems to, to slide a lot better. So the new redesigned Flash 20, probably Sitka's uh, most popular pack. Now, again, don't get me wrong, this is not a pack to be used for hauling out an entire animal. This is a great day pack. You're gonna be using it day, maybe a slight overnight, you know, right from the truck, up the trail. If you're you know, hiking three, four, five, six miles, hiking one mile, hiking half a mile, uh, you're gonna be able to carry all your gear for, for a, a good day hunt. And I'm pretty psyched about that. I'm psyched about the, the material. It's a, it's a little bit noisier, not much, but it's a little more noisy, and that's because they've, they've used a, a ripstop nylon that is DWR treated, so you're gonna get a little bit more durability out of this fabric than uh, previous year's model. So again, this is the Flash 20 from Sitka, brand new uh, redesign for 2015. We're excited to have that here on Black Ovis, and I'm excited to hunt with it. Hopefully this has given you an idea of uh, some of the changes, and if you're ready for an upgrade, check it out on Black Ovis. We'll see you soon.